Hello again everyone, I'm Jim the IT Guy, or welcome to another video. Uh, this is just going to be a quick run through as I'm trying to fix uh, a Lenovo server that's in uh, due to a, not failed update, a stuck update. Um, it got, it's got itself stuck when trying to do a BIOS update, but uh, we shall uh, see if we can unjam it and get it booting back up again so we can try and get the thing up to date. Um, it's uh, one of the fun things on Lenovo's. They're not the smoothest, it seems, to update. But uh, there we go. Right, uh, let me give you a quick rundown of the server. Now, for those of you who are familiar with servers, nothing unusual here, normal 2U server, but this is a Lenovo Think Server RD650. Um, it is a dual CPU. Um, this is as it was configured from Lenovo up until the point at which it went wrong. Um, as you can see from the front, there's a few hard disks in there. We've got a pair of 128GB SSDs and eight one terabyte SATAs. Uh, plenty of expansion room in this one. This is if we can get it back to live yeah, until, until SSDs. If we can get it to come back to life, we are going to attempt turn this just into a DR server for a client which is where it came from before it decided to die on the update but this is the actual server again standard 2U server just pop the lid off of it excuse me doing this all one-handed it's not the easiest thing put that out the way and again fairly standard inside got your back plane with your drives nice thing with this fully populated for back plane for drives to go in just need the caddies hot swappable fans uh, with Lenovo as per a lot of them, anything in red is hot swappable, anything in blue is most definitely not. It's uh, fairly clean, not a lot of dirt and dust inside this one. Slot you back in. Go in, you silly bugger. Have I got it the wrong way? No, I haven't got it the right, I've got it the right way. Doesn't quite have the smoothness. Of Adele. Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit nasty. Why aren't you going in? Let's try that with a bit of a fidget. There we go. Clonk. Uh, it's got a. Little dual port nick added to it. Um, hot swappable power supplies. Uh, interestingly, with Lenovo's of this generation, they actually have a, from memory, that is a RAID key to activate certain features from memory. Um, let's just whiz that out. It's not even that highly populated, as you can see. I think this thing only has about 16 gig of RAM, two CPUs. Um, when this goes back on site, it will have more memory put into it because it will need it because it will be a Hyper-V server if we can get it to come back to life. That is, put this thing back together, back you go. Um, couple of PCIe expansion bays, diagnostic LEDs, and what I do need to look at is spin this round. On the bottom of here, what we are looking for is the connectors. Where's the jumpers? Jumpers, jumpers, jumpers. Somewhere on here, there should be he says, there we go, jumpers and LEDs. 
So BIOS defaults, BIOS recovery jumper, which is number three, which is there, which is up by CPU one. So let's have a look at that and put you back down there out of the way. So is it tucked underneath this again? So there's CPU one. The dim counts. Let's have a look. It's going to be hiding, hiding down in there. So let's just pop this unit out the way. Come on, out you come. There we go. So we are looking for jumper number three. Where are you, jumper number three? BIOS load defaults is hiding there. And there's BIOS recovery tucked in. <laughs> tucked in there, BIOS recovery. That one there. So now the simple, difficult part here is finding a jumper because I can't remember the last time I actually had to go and hide a jumper. Give me five minutes, I'll be back. And we're back. And after searching high and low for something that I've not had to use for quite some time, I found a jumper. So there we go, right, come here, put you there. Now, what I will do is show you exactly what this server does at the moment by turning it on. It's gonna get loud. Now I do hope you can hear me as uh, obviously these things are quite loud, but uh, as you can see, this is where it gets stuck. This is the big problem with this uh, server. Every boot, it tries to update the firmware and fails. Well, it doesn't fail, it just sits here. And it will sit here for hours and days and even weeks. So, uh, I have no problem with uh, just turning it off. And what we will do is we will place the jumper on the BIOS recovery pins. And let's see what we get now. More noise. We get some funky flashy lights. And hopefully what this should do is recover the BIOS. We have an orange light on the front. Now, from memory, this just needs to be left for a while, so uh, I shall return when something new is going on. Well, as you can now see, something definitely did go on. Um, the system did attempt to recover the BIOS back to the previous version, which was not happy. Um, not unexpected, unfortunately, but it is the way with Lenovo's. They are very fussy BIOS updaters. Thank you for watching. Um, as you can see, it's always fun in IT. Not everything always uh, goes to plan. This isn't one of those videos where, ta-da, everything works. No, this is expected of these servers, to be honest. Sometimes they just do. Sometimes this is part and parcel of it. This is why in a production environment, you would have support on the hardware um, because 
this sort of thing, if this server was covered under any form of warranty, um, Dell Pro support, for example, if this was a Dell server, they would be on site next day, same day even, if it's a four hour, if it's, if it's a critical, um, with the parts, swap them out, carry on and away you go. Part and parcel of it, I have to say, I, I personally have never had a Dell fail a BIOS update. I've seen Lenovo's fail BIOS updates. I've had Fujitsu's do strange things on BIOS updates, but they normally clear. Um, HP seem to be okay. Um, unfortunately, you have to pay to keep a HP server up to date, which is one of the reasons why I don't actually recommend them. Um, but there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching to the end here. Um, please um, like, subscribe, comment, even hit the bell. Strange thing. Um, and um, you can catch me below on all my uh, social media things. I've even started doing a bit of streaming on Twitch just to uh, pass the time over here. Um, and, uh, and yeah, there we go. Um, thank you again for watching and I will see you soon.